Sanake. This is the Amber San from the uh, beautiful Ascension Training Center grounds in Zealand, the Netherlands. And this is a blog that I wanted to share from my heart again today. Um, it is um, sort of because we were very reminded as students to put more focus on the metaphysical, which I will get back to today, but also because it recently was um, suggested uh, in another uh, video blog by another student that sometimes she might want to share about um, why she does this. So I thought, well, I think we can all do that. So I'm here to kind of um, give a little bit of a brief um, video, uh, Ascension Journal, to share both about both of those things. And uh, I shared a little bit about my journey um, that I had met before, and I had met the Paco Yin San um, and attended a seminar and with Ascended Life in Tintagel. And uh, uh, that was just life-changing for me. Um, prior to that, um, as most of us do, um, I was um, exploring uh, spirituality. There was definitely a period of awakening. And, and when I came across the Messiah material, which was also under another name at that time, but it was from Ascended Life, I realized I had never, ever come across that much level of truth in my entire life. I had already been feeling uh, that there had to be something more. Um, physics didn't do it. Science didn't do it. Um, religion definitely didn't do it. Um, had a good life. <laughs> uh, but there was something missing. There was one point I remember uh, being on a highway driving and just feeling like an ant in an ant box. Um, that's just a little bit of a metaphor of a lifetime that I think we all go through. We realize that things are not what they appear to be and there has got to be something more. So I went on a journey like that and when I came across the Zion material, um, the, 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 the absolute knowledge of there's something here, I have never ever in my entire life um, experienced this much truth. So that's a genealogy of what occurred. Um, but what I really want to share is uh, a little deeper than that, um, or at least a little bit uh, from the perspective of what I can say now. I wouldn't change this for anything. Um, since I have been on this journey, I have experienced so much love, so much joy, so much freedom, so much truth, and so much life uh, in service to others. And, and, and I, I can't imagine even not doing that. It would be like a big hole just was ripped out of me um, if I was not here doing what I'm doing. And I mention this because I think, um, I know I said this before too, I think this calling is in all of us and it's up to us to pay attention to it. And when we hear even inklings of it, to follow them and to keep going and to jump when you are ready because there is nothing else like it. Uh, I, I can't imagine um, the oneness, the wholeness, the, 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 the appreciation for nature, the connection with nature, to really, really start to um, experience that you are the only being, there is only one being, and we're all one. I saw on Twitter the other day, someone saying, how do you explain, how are we all one? Well, <laughs> there's lots of ways to talk about that, but basically it just is the truth. And um, this is a good place um, to, to uh, check out the details of it. You have to let go of your ego, mind, and personality. You have to let go of who you're not to find out the truth of who you are. All the sages and gurus across um, time um, have said the same thing. So this is the time um, to do this. And um, for all of us, I think, because we are in an incredible period of uh, what we perceive as life on earth in the hologram and everything is changing and uh, we need people to, to be on board for that. So um, I'm sharing about you, but what I really want to say is about myself. Um, the biggest way I could, um, first of all, sum that up is um, from saying when I realized that what I thought was true was not, 
then I went on a journey to start finding the truth. And my truth is love and joy and freedom and truth and gratitude and grace, and well-being and life. Those are the active ingredients of creation. I don't want to be passive. And so I'm not perfect. I learn every day. I'm a student and I practice. I make mistakes. I pick myself up and I keep going because I know that there is truth out there. <laughs> like they used to say on the X-Y, there's truth out there, X-Files. There, there is definitely truth, but it's not out there, it's in here. And so that is a journey um, I um, can't imagine not taking. And I'm going to find that and I'm going to share that every step of the way. And um, I love you and I thank you for listening to my blog. Take care.